hey guys welcome back once again in this video i am going to show you how to create dynamic column by using raw data in ag grid as you can see here i have a simple ag grid table and in this video basically we will create a column definition by using the data which already exists So for that, let's jump to VS Code. So here, as you can see, this is a functional component. And here I am managing a state by using use state in order to store the grid API. And here, this is the raw data, means the data which I am gonna to show on table. And here I have this column definition. And here this is the default column definition. So here flex one, which is gonna to take whole width of the table and here on grid ready function and this function basically gonna to trigger once our ag grid render successfully on ui and here we are setting the params to our state okay and if i talk about here the rendering part here i have two headers and returning one ag grid so as of now as you can see i am passing this column definition by myself and here i am passing two things in each property header name and field so now what we have to do is we don't have to pass this column definition we have to create dynamically this column definition and we have to pass so right now let me show you how our table is looking okay so now let's get back and let me comment this line so i commented it and now if i come back here refresh it you can see i am not getting anything okay so now here we need to set this column definition to this ag grid table so first of all i will remove this code or let me comment it so now we have to set dynamic column to our ag grid so in order to do that we have a function in this params so we will try to access that set column definition function and we will do this okay so for that here what i am gonna to do i will write here params dot and here basically it will have two api so grid api and api so i wrote here api and here i will get one function access that is called set column devs and now what this function is gonna to take is this function is gonna to take a array of column definition okay so right now here let me pass a single data so here uh, array okay and here i will pass field as a make okay so now let's save it and get back here let me refresh this so here as you can see i got this make column okay and data is also rendering successfully so now let's talk what's going on here so basically here once the grid rendered successfully on ui this on grid ready function is gonna to trigger so it will have a argument that is related to this ag grid and here what we are doing params dot api dot set column definitions means we are setting our own column definitions okay so if i write here another one thing so let's call it as field and if i provide here let's say date okay and come back here so you will be able to see date here as well okay so now our task is we have to create this dynamic value anyhow and we have to pass to this function and it will be automatically set there so now in order to generate this dynamically first of all what we will do is we have to retrieve this make date and this key name from here this row data so as you can see we have this make here model price and date and that is what we are passing here as a field okay so as of now let's comment this line here so now we will try to convert this row data into required column definition so here row data and here i will get the zeroth index value which is gonna to give me a object so let me do here console.log okay so now do right click go to inspect and here on console so let me refresh and here as you can see i got the first record date make model and price and as you can see this is a object 
okay so right now here what i will do is i will pass this object to object and i will get the keys only so here i will write object dot keys okay and now here what it will do is get all the keys and it will convert into the array so here right now as you can see i have this make model price and date okay and as you can see this has become a array now here what i have to do is i need to modify the structure so i can use here map so here dot map okay and map is gonna to give me a single key and here i need to modify that key and return that key so here this is for the returning and i need to return a object okay and here i need to write field and i will pass my key here and if you want to pass this header name because as you can see here we have this header name as well so header name we can pass the same thing so here key okay now let's save it and let's get back here and now if i refresh here as you can see this is a array of four object and each contains this field and header name okay and here we have the same value so now we need to pass this array into our set column definition so for that here i will remove this console log and here i will store into a variable so i will call it as columns okay and here i will copy this line or cut this line and paste it here uncomment and i will remove everything okay and right now i will pass here columns okay now let's get back here let me refresh and here as you can see i got this make model price and date okay and here right now as you can see we are passing two field field and header name as well so if you don't pass this header name so let me remove this header name and if you come here still you can see we are getting all the column definition here okay so now here what we will do is we will write a reusable function and that will be responsible for doing this so for that here const get dynamic columns okay and here this will take a object and remaining thing it will take here so here i am gonna to copy this okay i will cut this and paste it here okay so here as you can see this is gonna to be our object so obj and we will get all the key we will map through it we will add field equal to key and we will return this array so here return now i need to call this function so here i can call inside here and i can pass here the row first data so here row data of zeroth index okay don't need this column anymore so i have removed and now let's get back here so let me refresh and as you can see here everything is working so make model price and date so now let's add a extra field here so let's say i want to see whether it is available or not so here i will write this available and here i will pass this value as a true okay and let's copy this and pass in all okay now save it and get back here let's refresh this so as you can see here this available column appear automatically after refresh we haven't done anything for this okay guys so in this video we have seen how to create dynamic column using raw data in ag grid okay okay guys that's it for this video if you have any doubt you can ask me in comment section you can get the download link of this code in description of this video if you like this content do like share and subscribe see you in next video Thanks for watching.